Last week I talked about how to calculate your maximum heart rate and how important knowing this number is to your training. In this film I'll be running through how to actually calculate the various fitness training zones and outlining the benefit that each one can bring. According to Watt Bike, there are seven heart rate training zones and they're all expressed as a percentage of your max. This means that there will be a little bit of calculation involved, but don't worry, you don't have to be a Stephen Hawking's maths genius to work things out. So if we're all sitting comfortably, I shall begin. The first is what they call the recovery zone and refers to any ride under 60% of your max. To work this out on a calculator, you start with your max, so using me as an example, 188 beats per minute and multiply by 0.6. This gives us 112.8, but you could probably round this up to 113 beats per minute. The benefit you'll receive in this zone is improved recovery and promote muscle regeneration. At this pace it should feel nice and easy and you should be able to chat comfortably. Zone 1 is between 60 and 65% of your max, so for our example we multiply 188 by 0.65 to get 122.2. Again, you could round this down to 122 beats per minute. We've already calculated the lower end of this zone, so 122 forms the upper end. When you cycle at this intensity, it should still feel fairly relaxed, and you should be able to hold a conversation. You should also be able to ride at this level for several hours. The benefit you receive here is improved fat burning and generally just getting comfortable on the bike. Zone 2 is between 65 and 75% of your max. In our example, this gives us a range between 122 and 141 beats per minute. At this intensity, it should feel like you're starting to work, and the benefit you'll receive is increased power and efficiency. This is where most of your endurance training should take place. Zone 3 is between 75 and 82%. This gives us a range of 141 to 154 beats per minute. You can certainly start to feel it when you ride at this intensity. You should be sweating and your legs will start to burn, but the payoff is increased fitness and even better endurance. Zone 4 is between 82 and 89%. This gives us a range between 154 and 167 beats per minute. It's starting to hurt now. You should be pretty stressed and sweating freely, but the benefit will be increased overall speed. Zone 5 is between 89 and 94%. This gives us a range between 167 and 177 beats per minute. At this intensity you should be gasping for breath, but the payoff will be improved time trialling and short term resistance to fatigue. Zone 6 is anything above 94%. You won't be able to maintain this level for more than a few seconds, but training at this intensity will increase your sprint speed. Many cycling computers today will not only show your actual beats per minute, but will also show your heart rate as a percentage, taking away the need for you to do any mental arithmetic on the bike. You can also use it to set an alarm if you go above or below a certain heart rate. If you have a Garmin Edge 510, I show you how to do all of this in another couple of films. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please subscribe for my regular weekly upload, where I'll be sharing all kinds of tips and tricks.